Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily reading for the 26th. So this is just your daily vibes for the 26th of April. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, right? This is for somebody. It may or may not be you. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. I might as well flip them because... Apparently, if they're reversed, they're reversed. If they're not, they're not. We're going to keep it. We're going to go with that from now on. Um, what do we have for the 26th? The moon, this is about fears. There's something that is unseen. There's something that's that's hidden. There's something that is below the surface. <laughs> Interesting. Something hidden. Hmm. <laughs> Be careful. All is not as it seems. Your dreams may be talking to you at this time. It's still a mystery. Something is still a mystery. Oh boy, there's some hostilities here. Somebody has like a weapon. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, this is not good. That person has a weapon in their hand and they're, they're hostile. This is something lurking. This is something hidden. So be careful. You could have an enemy. Somebody may have an enemy and they don't, you know. Hmm. What do we got? We need another one. We need another one. Victory. Well, that's a darn good thing. Uh, I mean, the card speaks for itself. This is a, a victory. There's somebody is looking for the win. So, I mean, hey, just, just be careful. You know, when people are out to win... You know, sometimes they'll do anything to win. So I don't know what this means, but. There could be victory over a hostile situation, okay? So let's hope that's the case. Let's try to bring this, turn this around. But, you know, I, I gotta do what, I gotta say what it is. So there's some sort of hidden force or secret or something that is hidden. Somebody may not be your friend. There's some deception. Moon is a, the moon is ruled by the shadow. Okay, so be careful. Be careful. It looks like we have somebody here that may be out to prove a point or something. Who knows what? So, oh, this could go any way. Now, this is lovers. Ten of cups. Six of cups reversed. <laughs> the world card reversed. The devil. <laughs> so this is a choice. Somebody has to make a choice or somebody's in the process of making a choice in regards to a partnership, in regards to love or a union. This is clinging to the past. There's unfinished business, refusing like to step over that finish line. Looks like there's a completion of a relationship. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here, and somebody is hindering their success. Because this is a card of victory and success, and this one is too, but this is reversed. Somebody is hindering their success because of ego, pride, who knows what. I mean, 
This is self-sabotage. This is holding on to something that is unhealthy. You know, somebody is holding on to an old toxic bond or something that is uh, unhealthy to them. This is a feeling of emptiness. There is an opportunity for happiness here with somebody that is a perfect match. So I don't know what that means, but this is a this is a beautiful spiritual connection here. There's an opportunity to have victory and success with, you know, somebody that you are spiritually connected to. It could lead to a lot a hap happily ever after. But clinging to the past holding on to something that has ended that is unhealthy for you. Oh, goodness gracious. Is Let's get the rest of the cards. Somebody's holding on to something that is unhealthy and it's causing, perhaps that's causing them to be hostile, you know, because resentment builds and builds and builds and builds, you know. Empress reversed. This is a mother. This is a mother, but this is reversed. So somebody may not. This is lack of respect for your mother. So. <laughs> Interesting. Eight of swords. This is trapped, mentally trapped. Not seeing things clearly, wearing a blindfold, refusing to see the truth. This is stuck in a situation that is, well, it's a mental situation. It's mental conflict. It's like somebody is in their own prison living in their own mental prison, letting their own mental prison control them. It's really, that's basically the devil. That is devil energy. Somebody is letting, this is prison, it really is. Somebody is letting their own mental prison control their rebirth, control their new life, control their happiness, control their new connection. It's like there's, a, there's an opportunity for a Union here. This is a union. The very first card that could be successful could lead to happily ever after. But the past, the past memories or something like that is hindering growth. This is breaking free. This is making a conscious change to let it all go. I think it's a very emotional time where we have somebody that, you know, is wanting a relationship or they're looking for love. But they have to they have to choose wisely, they have to make a decision, they have to definitely somebody has to make a complex decision as to whether they can drop this past or not. Whether you know. So I feel like today is a day of the very first is making a decision in regards to a partnership, in regards to love. This is a perfect match match. It is. It could lead to happiness, but somebody is confused. Now this Knight of Cups next to the Seven of Cups, you got to beware of false beginnings here. I mean, how many chances can you give to somebody? Maybe it's time to just, you know, you've taken, you've, you've tried and tried. Somebody, you know, somebody has taken on a lot already. Maybe it's time to just drop it. Maybe it's time to, for some of you, maybe it's time to drop this connection. I don't know. This is moving forward with an offer of love. This is actually taking action and offering love, offering something, you know. 
Knight of Cups, he's, he's offering love. Somebody's in the process of choosing, you know, this is a choice, making a choice. <laughs> what do you want? What's it going to be? You know, this we have somebody here that doesn't want to be alone. You know, I don't want to be alone. Probably getting sick of being single. I want to be in a relationship. So there's somebody here that may be uh, looking for love. I don't, want, I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm looking for a partner. I, I, I want this happily ever after. So, yeah. yeah. And this is somebody moving forward, like, recognizing. This is somebody recognizing that they need to break free and... and find their confidence and their courage and their willpower to recognize another person's worth by the looks of things. <laughs> now this is a warrior. This is the leader. This guy leads the army. He's he's the he's the main guy. So this is the leader take the lead. Somebody may be recognizing that they need to take a lead. Some people could be egging them on and do it, do it, do it, you know, go do it, you know, praising him. It's time to break free and take action. Yeah, this is an exciting opportunity to go down a new path. If somebody can stop clinging to the past, somebody may be receiving an invite or an exciting news from somebody. Somebody could be receiving receiving a message. They could be somebody could be receiving a message that somebody is ready to break free by the looks of things they're, they're, they are breaking free they're finding the courage to go their own way to go in a new direction somebody may have been distracted by the past and maybe they were distracted by the past or they were distracted by issues with their children or whatever the case is there's children issues here but anyway so, yeah, I think they could have been distracted by family issues, family problems, whatever, and that's why they weren't putting in effort. And now perhaps an offer is being turned down or something like that. We have a self-centered, conceited individual here who <laughs> isn't following through. Maybe he doesn't see this person's worth. Maybe he doesn't want a new beginning with this person. You know? There's no new beginning here. There's no 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 birth because this person doesn't have any courage or strength or confidence to take action. So we got somebody here that's just weak. Letting the ego, devil, whatever, control. Letting themselves be controlled by their thoughts, okay? Somebody is not finding the... <laughs> mental stability whatever it is the confidence and the courage and the strength and to let go of the past when they have an opportunity to break free from their mental conflict their mental turmoil and work together with somebody it's like so they're not putting in effort we have somebody here that's not putting in the effort that they need there could be a lack of respect okay there's definitely probably is a lack of respect here it could be from a child could be from a partner there is lack of respect in bo both of these cards. And this is respect. This is finding respect. So somebody is <sighs> needing to have some respect, perhaps. I mean, I don't know who that message is for, but it could be for anybody. Um, this is shutting down. Ace of Wands reversed. unmaterialized something is not materializing as it was supposed to it's not growing like it was like it's supposed to and it's because this person doesn't isn't taking any action they aren't following through they may be they may have some addictions that are hindering them there's something some unhealthy habits that are 
causing them to be blocking it or whatever. It's like they're wearing a blindfold. It's like they're blocking themselves from growth. When there is an opportunity to go down a new path with somebody that is very well suited. This is a suitor that is really, really well suited for you. But there's a delay. There's no movement. There's no movement. Somebody may not be being practical. They may be stubborn. They may not have planned efficiently. And now we have a tower moment. Isn't that just wonderful? Break down. Break down. Rude awakening. Absolutely, it's going to be a rude awakening. This is a rude awakening. No, no offer, no acceptance, no moving, no, mo no moving forward. But then again, no follow through with a Knight of Cups. Somebody probably isn't following through. Well, I don't know what that is. This is a, they're holding on to a false sense of security. But shit's about to fall apart. Or it is falling apart. This false structure is falling apart. Because it's not stable. It's not secure. Jeez, oh girl. This is, look at her. She's scared. She's worried. She is worried. She wants to protect herself from this. And then I get it. So this is just like, please don't know. You know, we have somebody here that is scared of what's going to happen. What's, what's going to happen next? Wow. Unbelievable. I think there's, a, there's an issue here that could be happening at home where we have somebody here that is really scared of, you know, what is going to happen next? You know, what's going to happen next? <laughs> This is worry, guilt, fear. This is fear, fear of what's going to happen. <laughs> so yeah, we got somebody here that is definitely fearful of what is going to happen. We got somebody here that's not being responsible, that's not being practical. And this is like a warrior, so I don't know. Lack of wish fulfillment, lack of hope. Somebody is losing hope. Somebody is losing hope. There's lack of wish fulfillment. There's lack of peace. But this is the universe coming in to bring you some sort of news that is going to shed some light on whatever this situation is. Yeah, the light is going to be shed on this hidden whatever it is. So be prepared. Be prepared. Somebody could be walking away from a false foundation, from a false structure, from something that isn't stable and secure anymore. They could. I mean, this, I'm walking away. This is going to find my wish fulfillment. Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, I'm going to find my happiness. I'm leaving this all behind. So somebody is probably in the process during this day or whatever, they're in the process of making a choice in regards to, <laughs> obviously, it's about love. The very first card's about, you know, a soulmate connection. Now, that is a card of consequences as well, that love. And so isn't the Seven of Cups. Okay, we got two cards of consequences here. There's consequences, so choose wisely. Be careful. People can only hold on for so long. Before they have to drop it. It's too much. So I feel like we have somebody here that. Is heading in a new direction. 
but there it's been very very slow it's been very slow there's been uh stalemates a lot of them probably a few a few stalemates there's been a lack of victory but there's an opportunity for victory if somebody can face their fears And let go of the emptiness. So anyway, I feel like there's there's probably going to be some sort of upheaval that that uh, comes about that sheds some light on a situation that probably you know pushes somebody in a new direction so I can see somebody moving in a new direction okay and this could happen instantly it could happen suddenly there's definitely a need to protect yourself because she's like please God no you know what I mean she's very scared so we have somebody here that is scared of destruction, scared of upheaval. She's scared. You see where it landed. Then we have somebody here that is very fearful of this crashing down. This is about to crash down. We have somebody that is very fearful of getting hurt. But... Oh my God! So two of cups, and that is what that is like—a union that is coming to an end, a partnership is coming to an end. Somebody may be throwing it away. I mean, getting just—it's time to, for it to go. It's time for it to drop it away. It's like he's pushing it down. Somebody may be pushing down a union that is no longer. Stable and secure, no longer, you know, it's unreal. It's not there anymore. It's just, it's already broken. Somebody may be deciding to push it away. It's time to break free. It's time to liberate. So I feel like we. this is a day of liberation. Okay, it is. It's a day of breaking free from something with this as well. This Ten of Wands is like, this has reached a point of, of, of collapse. I can't carry this. I can't I can't hold on to this. So I feel like we have somebody that is is dropping something, a heavy load. Because there's no wish fulfillment there. It's not stable, it's not secure, it's a false foundation. It's probably unrequited love. There's no reciprocation and there's an opportunity, there's an infight, there's an opportunity to go down a new path with a perfect match with somebody that is better suited for you that could lead to a lot of happiness. So I feel like a decision is on the table here and somebody is about to face their fears. Okay, this is ruled by the shadow and this is ruled by the shadow, the unseen. So the unseen is your fears, okay? Not to mention that they, they that whoever you're dealing with is probably holding on to some of their own hostilities over the past. Maybe they're still hostile over the past. Maybe they haven't forgiven the past, and that's why they can't move forward. So, I feel like today is a day of making a... Well, the universe helping, okay? The universe is helping here. It's helping you to probably bring closure to a situation that somebody has been holding on to. So, victory is coming. It is. With a soulmate, a spirit, somebody that you are spiritually connected to. There's an opportunity for victory and happiness but this is communication this is this is this is an invite or an invitation or good news it's a message it's a happy message it's a positive message it could be a positive message that i'm ready to start with a clean slate i'm ready to do this that could be the message i don't know 
We have this person over here that's really worried. This person may be worried about about not being accepted. That could be the case. But anyway, we have, I think there's some sort of truth that is going to be revealed, okay, it's because of this tower. something, Some sort of message is going to come through that it's, it's good news, okay? So good news is coming that is going to shed some light on a situation that has to do with a partnership. Somebody has been trapped. Somebody has been stuck. Ego has been an issue. Fear has been an issue. Family may have been an issue. And... It looks to me like some, there's some, going to be some sort of upheaval <laughs> that changes everything. So, good luck. Have a good day.